Hey guys, welcome back to Hatchet's Hooch. Today we got Johnson with us. What's up, Johnson? What's up, guys? Getting ready to do some drinking. You want to do a little drinking today? Today is a special day. We have some homemade Matthews apple pie. Uh, we I've made a lot of apple pie in my day. Johnson's helped make some. And I, if I'm not mistaken, this might be one of Matthew's first batches. Mmm. So, uh... Our first one tasted like, uh, the bark off a of cinnamon tree. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it did. <laughs> that was terrible. Um, I, I'm not exactly sure what recipe he used, but, uh, it's been in the refrigerator, so it's getting cold. All right. You got some apples in there? Ooh. Yeah. We gonna cut the apples up, or...? Mm. <laughs> Try to pour it. Yep. Without these apples falling out of my bar. Alright. So we uh, don't really have a shot at a good hot try, do we? No. We're going to just drink it cold. Alright, uh, Johnson, explain what apple pie is. Apple pie. Well, I believe you derive it from uh, moonshine. Yeah. And if you squeeze the jar hard enough, you can squeeze the juice out of the apples in it. So, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's a popular holiday mm. drink around Thanksgiving and Christmas. People um, make it and give it out for presents or having a little shindig for the holidays and they pass it around and it gets going quick. Uh, the reason it gets going quick is it's very sweet and it's very easy to drink. Yeah. Um, it's got a low proof on it. Probably 30 to 40, uh, something like that. Uh, kind of reminds you of a wine, almost. But you put 190 proof grain alcohol, moonshine, mm. and then some other recipes call for a little variety. But it's basically just um, apple juice, apple cider, uh, cinnamon, and love. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah. it's good, so. That's kind of right. where we all started at, was with the apple pie. We had yeah. a tradition for many years that bunch of us would get together and we would go down to the ABC store and we would buy Everclear back when it was the high proof One night. and around here anyways they kind of stopped selling it that high so we decided that uh, the end of days could come at any minute and also they stopped selling it so we needed to keep the tradition going so we took a tiny 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 little uh, pressure cooker and set it on the stove and sat there until the worms started dripping and we was like I can't believe this is actually working so <laughs> We made, which it took forever, but we finally got one little jar off that year that made enough to to uh, at least keep the tradition alive. So now, you know, this here is one of the first that Matt has done. And, of course, that's probably been six years ago since oh, we yeah, did that. So wow. this is kind of cool here. Taking us back to a roots and it is Christmas time again. That's right. All so. right. Let's uh, nose it. Oh, yeah. It's a lot of apple. Apple smell and cinnamon. I, mean, that's, I got the cinnamon big time. See, I, st I smell more apple than cinnamon. It might be because we got right off the, the hood there with the apples floating. Yeah, it's just straight apple and cinnamon flavored and smell. That's yep. it. Which is what the apple pie smells like. So that's kind of yeah. what the deal is. A very good smell. You could uh, heat this up in a pot and smell up your whole house. Yep. <laughs> All right. Good, still got a little heat to it. Yeah, that's good. It's nowhere near as sweet as I was thinking. No way. I thought for sure it was gonna be sweet. Yeah, I mean it's sweet, but not overpoweringly sweet. Um, that's really good. I mean it's coating the glass a little bit with the sugar, but I mean it's not sweet like I was expecting. Uh, as far as the flavor goes, when it when it seems like it's cinnamon on the front. And then the apple comes in, and then cinnamon comes back on the end there. It's good. Yeah, that's a pretty good good batch there. I like it. It's still got a little heat. Cause usually, it does. Usually there's so much going into it, and with the different juices and stuff, they have so much sugar in them, you know, because it's hard to really just get it straight from, you know, the fruit. So you're usually going to use something from the store as far as juice went. And it's usually loaded with sugars, and that's pretty good right there. I like it. It's warm. Yeah, that, that alcohol's it's not like the alcohol you get with a straight liquor or something. It's 
The alcohol's there, but it's not a burn. No, no, no. It's, it's not. It's not a yeah, like a like a stomach rolling. Um, yeah. It's more. It's more literally just feels kind of warm. That's all it is. Yeah. Just a little bit of warmth coming, which it could be from the cinnamon too. You know, the cinnamon opening up pores or something. You never know. But yeah, um, there's a lot of cinnamon there. I don't know if he uh, used too many cinnamon. I mean, it's not that it's a bad cinnamon, but. The alcohol and the cinnamon, and then the apple's the third where I taste. Mm -hmm. I like I'm it. I'm tasting apple right now after sitting just a minute. Um, but, yeah. But uh, I took some apple wash a little while ago, so, um, you know, maybe that, that kind of doled out some of the apple taste for me. Kind of doled my senses a little. I think it's, uh, <clears throat> it's, it's different than what I make and what I've tasted before. And different as in the sweetness is nowhere near as intense right. as normal. Usually it's the sweet that you, you know, you can only drink so much of it, one, right. because of the sweetness, and then the cinnamon is, it's either, usually it's real sweet and the cinnamon is overpowering, like you can almost taste it. Yeah, you know, like it's almost, not something you like could drink you all night, like but this, <laughs> I believe you can uh, drink all night, because yeah. it's yeah, not. Yeah, that's pretty good blend there. Yeah, that's good. Matthew, good job, man. Yep. Yeah, definitely. So, uh. Yeah. Johnson, what do you recommend on apple pie? Uh, it's definitely something you should take in on the holidays, for sure. This is uh, something that'll, um, well, you know, it's something that, that's festive because when you get together with the families, usually somebody's always the best at making pie, so Danny makes the apple pie, and obviously in Matt's family, he brings the apple pie, so. <laughs> <laughs> Eat it out of a pie tin and drink it out of a jar. That's right. Yeah, apple pie is awesome, man. It's a staple here in the South. Uh, everybody makes it. You know, you can you don't have to look far for some. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, it's great for holiday gatherings. You got the the men folk that's that's glad to get some, and the women folk, oh, let me try it, and they like it. You know, it's easy to drink. So, yeah. and it's not like a straight liquor. It's not going to make you stupid and and flip the table with the turkey on it and everything. <laughs> it's a it's a light like wine proof almost. So therefore, you can drink quite a bit of it and still hold your own and not be, mm -hmm. you know, too bad. So, uh, ask around. I'm sure somebody around's got some apple pie. So, uh, two thumbs up from Hatchet's Hooch. Yep. All right. Good job, Matt. Thanks for joining us on this episode of Hatchet's Hooch. Johnson, we'll see you soon.